Hey guys, this is the iPhone 8. To some, it's a bit of an older phone. But if you're upgrading from something like the iPhone 6, or you're looking for sort of a budget phone, this could be the perfect device for you. The iPhone 8 has a very similar design to the iPhone 6, 7, and SE 2020. They're so close that the cases for those phones are actually compatible. It also has a glass back, which along with giving your iPhone a more premium feel, also allows it to use wireless charging. The iPhone ranges from $180 to $300 brand new, depending on which storage option you choose. That includes 64 gigabits, 128 gigabits, and 256 gigabits. You could also have the choice of space gray, gold, product red, and silver, which I think is just more of a white. In comparison to most phones of its time, I think iPhone 8's screen displays colors pretty clearly and accurately. It has a 4.7 inch Retina HD display and is also equipped with True Tone technology, which means that the display automatically adjusts according to the hue of the surrounding environment. So Touch ID has been around since iPhone 5S, but it's even better on the iPhone 8. After registering my thumbprint into the phone, it works pretty good. I've had moist and even greasy hands, and it's worked perfectly. It might also help to register multiple of the same finger. That way it'll work even faster. Also, your fingerprint info is stored locally onto the device, not in the cloud, which means that your info is completely safe and private. The iPhone 8 was the first iPhone to support wireless charging, and hey, it works. There's not any problems that I've experienced with wireless charging so far, besides the fact that standard Qi charging is limited to 15 watts. So if you're in a hurry to charge your phone, maybe just plug it into a speed charger. So the camera is good and bad. Let me explain. Overall, this isn't the best camera by today's standards, but this 12 megapixel camera works great. There's not a ton of grain as long as you're in good lighting. Although, as soon as you try to send it to a non-Apple device, you will notice a loss of quality and crispness. That's because the iPhone actually uses software to enhance the image depth and colors. But that info isn't packaged with the photo when you send it. Although this caveat does exist, I still think this camera is great for something so small. Man, so even though the iPhone 8 does have a few caveats, it's overall a pretty good phone. Thanks so much for watching. Do you have an iPhone 8? Are you thinking of buying one? Leave your thoughts down below. Alright, that is the iPhone 8, and this is Dipper Studios. Peace.